Welcome to hell. Or as I call it, Soda Lake. Anyway, um... This level introduces the Torpedo Ted, cousin of the Bullet Bill, and I'm gonna tell you right now, this level is not very friendly. Well, fuck your shit. We got a Fire Flower here. It's not really gonna help us against the Torpedo Teds, but it'll at least help us against the Blurps and shit. See, this is just nasty, some of this stuff here. It, I mean, it's not so bad right now, but there's gonna be a part a little bit later that's gonna be a little nasty. It's already kind of starting. Ah, shit. Well, at least we can use the cape underwater. Aw, oh, see, this is just nasty. We're gonna abuse the ability to go slightly below the screen to get away from some of this. See, this, this is just, like, oh, come on, look at this. This is just bad placement and blatantly unfair. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, god, oh, god, oh, god. Ugh, way too close for comfort. There we go. And we're finally out of that level. And it looks like we're gonna play a bonus game. And... I think I just got an extra life. Whatever. Alright, let's try this now. Come on, God, God damn it! Son of a bitch! There we go. Well, I already didn't get the match, but... Oh yeah, I get... Well, two lives. Not bad. Getting closer and closer to that 99 mark, though. And with that, that takes us to... A Star Road! But we're not gonna do that now. I'm also going to go and get power-ups before I do anything. So, I'll be back. Yep. Alright, here we are. Uh, and now let's go to Cookie Mountain. Start off with Monty Moles and the Koopas Without Shells, and it's a FIRE SUMO! Uh, at least that's how he says it in the Super Mario cartoon. The dreaded FIRE SUMO! And you basically kill them by hitting them from underneath. Pretty simple shit. Well, fuck you, Monty Mole! Okay? I've already had to deal with your shenanigans in the very first video of this series. I don't want to have to deal with it again. No oh, feather. Not bad. Hmm. More Money Mole bullshit. You know what? Let's take a Koopa shell and deal with it this way. Oh god, oh god, okay. Well, that takes care of that problem anyway. And... he's gonna fly! And we got this really long bridge that leads to... a whole lot of nothing. Uh... God damn it! Hate the flying control sometimes. And we can't go down here. That don't seem like a good sign if you knows what I mean. Hey, the shockwave took care of the fire sumo! But, uh, yeah. Uh, we got this really huge wall here. There's definitely gotta be something up here other than, oh god, a Monty Mole attack! And what's up here? Ooh, what's this? An extra life, nice! And, well, fuck you, Monty Moles, I do not like you. Anything in here of note? Aha! And it's a fun. We already went up there. Uh, hey, we can go in here. What's in here? Oh, God. This ain't good. I can already tell. Yep, Porky Puffers. That means it is time to use the spin jump to great effect. Oh, God, there's two of them. And it took me backwards. Hey, so that's what this pipe does. But it took me backwards, which means that was a complete waste of my time. One up, that is never a waste of my time. Let's try this again. And we're flying! Oh god, time's up. Never mind this shit. Let's just get the fuck out of here. 
Who cares about anything else? Now that was some cool skill right there. You know what, Mr. Fire Sumo? If that is your real name. Oh god. Oh god, he jumps. And. Well, that accomplished nothing. <sighs> and this is a short area, so we're already at the castle. And who is it this time? Ludwig! Or Ludwig. Let's see what Ludwig wants. Ooh, I'm kind of liking the background here. Um. I can hit them with my cape. Yes, I can hit them with my cape. Watch out for the ball and chains, yeah? You die now! Well, fuck your shit, ball and chain. Let's see if we can get out. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no way we're going through that untouched. I will take this, though. Oh shit, the... Oh crap, the ceiling's lowering. And it's raising again, so let's just get out of here before anything terrible happens. Oh god, it's lowering again. Shit, Mario, run, 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 motherfucker, run! Run for your life! Whew, that was close. But we made it through. Ooh, fences! You know what that means? It's a chance to get more one-ups, but before we do that... I want me a feather. A feather to fly. And now I will go and get me some one-ups. And yes, I will subject you all to watching this. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, you can get a lot of one-ups in this room. A lot of them. Yep. A lot of one-ups. By climbing the fancies. This is just too easy. Look at this. As, like I said in the original uh, Iggy's Castle, as long as you stay on the fence... Look at that, one-ups are ready. As long as you stay on the fence, you'll keep getting one-ups. Well, fuck you. I'm gonna follow that. See, he still counts as a one-up. Provided that you don't touch any actual ground. 94. We're getting real close to that 99 mark. Let's see if we can get it before we actually go face Ludwig. I'll wait. There we go. 95. We're getting there. We're really... Oh, uh, 96? Yeah, we definitely got it. We definitely got it. Yeah, oh, God. Oh, God. 99. Screw it. We got it. We don't have much time to waste. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's going fast. Time to run. And we got the most unique battle out of all of them. Ludwig will start by shooting fire at us. Then he will go in his shell and chase us. Which he is invulnerable then. You can spin jump on his shell, though, but it won't do any damage. And, well, fuck your shit, Ludwig. I can't attack you like that. So we'll go over here and lure you out this way. Oh god, oh god. Okay. And he's pretty much easy at this point. Just, you know, keep jumping on him when he's open and... You really cannot fail at this. And with that, Ludwig is dead. I have kicked your ass, Ludwig. You will never bother me again. And with that, thank you. Oh shit. It's the Flying Castle of Death! And... Kaboom, motherfucker! Ludwig, on Ko Ludwig von Koopa's days of composing Koopa symphonies in Castle Number 4 are over. A forest of illusion lies ahead. Mario must use his brain to solve the puzzle of the perplexing forest. I like that little band-aid on him. See? Watch this. Bam! He's got some band-aid on his head. We fucked him up. And now we're going on to the Forest of Illusion. We will save, and I will go and get power-ups. Now if you'll excuse me. 
Now I'm back with power-ups, I got Yoshi and all that. And this is the first of the Forest of Illusion stages. That is a Wiggler! We'll be seeing them a lot in this area. I wanna know what's in here, damn it. Oh, Fire Flower. Not worth it. Besides, Yoshi is close enough to a Fire Flower if he gets Red Shells. And if you jump on a Wiggler here... He will get angry and become invincible. Well, fuck you, Wiggler. Hey, one up that we do not need. And no, I don't think I'll have you guys count the one ups. I mean, you can if you want to, but um, I won't be having a holding like a count or anything for one ups I get after the 99 mark this time around. But I mean, by all means, if you want to, go ahead. Um. Hey, we got another one of these. And you know what I want? I want me a star. Because when you have a star in these levels and you run through Wigglers... Come on, I want to show it off. Wigglers give you two lives and I saw a keyhole. Again, you can rack up a lot of lives here, which is why I'm not holding a count. And, oh god, a pea balloon. This is the first time where you're actually kind of expected to use one. I'll wait. And this must be the key. Which it is. Secret level. Or, secret exit. Which leads to... A ghost house. Which I will not go in just yet. Normal exit. Alright, we're here, where the pea balloon was, and let's head off from here. The exit shouldn't be too much farther. Watch out for these Hammer Brothers here. Yeah, see, the exit isn't that much farther. And there you go. Nah, I'm not gonna sing. Nope. And we already got another water level. Jolly good. And it's got two exits. Also jolly good. But hey, at least they're kind enough to start us off with a little leaf block here. And we got these sea urchin thingies, and they're pretty much like Gordos from the Kirby games. Now, I know Yoshi can't eat them, but I believe they can be killed with a star. But I'm not entirely sure. Well, fuck you. And we's gonna go in, we's gonna... You know what, can I actually kill him with these blocks? No, I cannot. Well, fuck that shit. Um... Yeah. Not really much to talk about for this level. I mean, it's pretty standard, other than the sea urchins. You got your blurbs, you got your, you know, cheap cheeps, rip van fishes. It's all there. Fire flower, I will definitely take that, though. Not really much to talk about until we get further into the level, though. Yeah, see, there's a rip van fish, and wow, that slowdown is nasty. That is some nasty slowdown. Oh well. Ugh, that is like a... Ooh, that is just nasty to watch. That slowdown. There we go. And, uh, yeah. So, what's going on with you guys? Uh, yeah. Well, we're actually getting close to a secret exit. Now, see this? Just go right through it. And there is the key, and next time, we will see what this secret exit leads to. Until then, take care!